Welcome one, welcome all to the Linus Tech Tips Prime Day Deals stream, which is a bit of an oxymoron because I think we all know that Prime Day is a completely contrived holiday that was created only so that you would buy things. Mm. But then of course it stands to reason that there would be deals to buy. Presumably. I've actually heard that this year's Prime Day is not too shabby, but I have no confirmation of that yet uh, because I have actually yet to open up an Amazon website to check it out. So this is this is my first time. Uh, this stream is brought to you guys by Honey. So the first thing both Anthony and I are going to be doing, uh, maybe while I talk about it, you could uh, fire over to Anthony's laptop. The first thing we're gonna be doing is installing the Honey browser extension. So Honey is a super simple tool. It's free, you install it in your browser. So Anthony's installing the Chrome extension right now. And what it does is on popular websites like Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, and more, it scours the site, including all of the third party sellers, takes everything into account, coupons, codes, uh, shipping, all that kind of good stuff and finds you the best possible deal on every item. So as we are browsing, and actually we're both logged into the same Google account, so I think that's gonna throw the Honey extension on my, yes, on my laptop too at exactly the same time. How Magic. handy is that? So as we're browsing, we're gonna have all the best deals for Prime Day and uh, we're gonna go ahead and compare. Now, the one thing that we haven't talked about yet Anthony came down, he was like, oh, we're doing a Prime Day stream. I'm down to do a Prime Day stream, but we don't actually have a plan yet. Right. So here's what I was kind of thinking. You do the AMD machine. Oh. And I'll do the Intel machine. We're doing this again. And we'll see who gets a better deal. Mm. Because I think, okay, so on the one hand, AMD just launched some pretty compelling products, mm -hmm. like pretty exciting. Ryzen 3rd Gen is the bee's freaking knees. But Intel is probably highly motivated right about now. So I may get a pretty good deal. Maybe, yeah. What do you, you think? You never know. You never okay. know. So, um, okay. So first thing we need to do is actually find some Prime Day deals. Uh, we've got spotlight deals, so I could get a Fire TV stick with Alexa voice remote if I was really into I, that. I, I don't have any of that. Uh, KitchenAid mixer doodad. No, I got none of that. You got none of that? Nope. Uh, Prime Day on Amazon.ca. Oop, no, Amazon.ca is uh, is for chumps, mm. also known as Canadians. They don't, they don't need good deals up in Canada. Holy crap! Do they have like, they have like a shopping network thing? What? Look at this. They have a video on the on the Prime Day the Prime Day site here. All right. So coming soon, it's gonna be a big deal. Got some shoes. Where do you find just like, I only want tech. Yeah, like apparently they're, they've are they got a really good deal on a Fire TV. Trending deal, yeah, that's great. Trending deals, you can get Cheez-Its for 677. Is that even a good deal? App Store and iTunes gift cards for $10 off? That does seem like a pretty good deal. I don't need that right now though. Do you know how to navigate Amazon? Um, not really. I actually find their site extraordinarily difficult to find things on. Uh, like I remember we were trying to do like a PC buyer's guide at some point or another and mm -hmm. just trying to like sort by RAM speed. I'm just like forget it, I'll go to Newegg. Like I just can't. Well, it's, it's really bad right for that. But uh, over here on the left hand side. Yeah. Computers and uh, accessories on the departments. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I don't know. I was actually kind of interested in some of the other stuff there. Uh, okay, okay, so there's a Sorry. UPS. No, 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 it's fine. UPS, uh, lightning cable, I guess this sort of qualifies as tech. A hard drive dock for 17 bucks. It, some of these don't really stand out. Like I remember us selling just like cheapo hard drive docks back at NCIX for like 17 bucks back in the day. Our N-Gear brand. N-Gear. <laughs> yeah, remember N-Gear? Um, also known as no-name gear. I remember TP-Link used to be like that. Routers. Okay, well here's a pretty cheap RGB uh, all-in-one water cooler. I'm gonna throw that in my cart. I feel like I'm gonna have to start a spreadsheet pretty quick here. Well, I found a motherboard for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you this is all like accessories and stuff. USB. Master Liquid LC120E. Who actually buys, like for their own personal use, who buys a Kensington laptop lock? I've never had one. 
Turn your backpacks. Deal has ended. Holy crap! There's only two days of, or there's only two pages of computers and accessories deals. You know what? I thought there was a separate category for electronic components, like computer components. Um, I think it's a subcategory. Am I wrong? Is there just nothing here? Here's a thermal take tempered glass RGB edition case. Any watt USB-C MagSafe adapter, Type-C to MagSafe. Here's a crucial 8 gig DDR4 DIMM. Hmm. Go ahead and throw that in there. The ASIO Retro Classic keyboard. Holy balls, is this actually it? NZX TH700. Wait a second, so this is just some Oh no, that's 3200, so that's some decent RAM. That's over. Ish. It was like 15 bucks off, I guess. That's like okay. Uh, PNY solid state drives, SATA though. I don't see that. Are you on .ca? No, .com. That's weird. Are we getting served different deals? You're on computers and accessories, right? Yeah. You don't have any other filters set? No. Wait, oh, active. Yeah, that's the same as what I've got. And missed. Well, why would I want missed deals for? Why would that be the default behavior? Mm. Here's an $80 monitor. I'm just gonna throw everything that's even remotely relevant in my, uh, in my cart. And I think I've already got it. I think that's it. Why do I not see that PNY SSD? RGB 81 keys mechanical keyboard. Is that on your first page or second page? That's my first page now. There's a thermal tech core over here. What? Yeah. Um, you know, for a moment, I was feeling kind of bad for crapping on Amazon site design <laughs> in a stream about shopping on Amazon, but I'm feeling super vindicated right about now because we are being served really different pages. Control F, P, N, Y, nothing. Three pack of 120 millimeter RGB BWM fans with the hub for 90 bucks. Control F, P, N, Y on this page. The RGB. I just checked both pages. Wait. You only have two pages? Yeah, I'm in the trending deals. Though. Oh, I'm in trending deals. Okay, so my deals are more trendy than yours, but mm, also clearly. nothing special. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very tell. trendy deals. Um, uh, blue light blocking glasses for cheap. My trackpad just stopped working for a minute there. Some FTG all right, spectrums. all right, you know what? I'm, I'm getting on this. I'm getting a Google Sheet going. Sheets.google.com, here we go. I'm just gonna open up a bunch of tabs. All right, well, that seems like not a bad strat. Okay, no, I do not want missed deals. Why would it reactivate that stupid button? I'm gonna have a look at upcoming deals though. Computers and accessories, all right. Up to 50% off select PC gaming laptops, desktops, monitors. So you have to go to a separate page for that. Hmm. Save big on select drives and storage. Really? Prime members save up to 40% on laptops, monitors, desktop. Okay, what is the difference between save up to 50% off PC gaming laptops, desktops, monitors, and save up to 40% on laptops, desktops, monitors? That's so stupid, they're the same category. Oh no, PC gaming. Oh, this is gaming laptops, desktops, and monitors. This site is terrible. How are they like the top retailer in the world? That's actually a pretty good deal on a motherboard. I'm assuming that was the one you were telling me before. The uh, Z370P2? Yeah. yeah. There, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna start. Oh, and of course, there's no convenient way to just navigate to the end, so I have to type things in like a caveman. Did that even work? I think that worked. Hey, Linus, is your, like, second display outputting at 1080i? Uh, anything is possible. I can find that out for you. Display settings. Uh, you might have to open Ooh, MP510. Uh, but it wants me to sign in. Nope. Yeah. Oh man, I 
can't I can't get some of these deals because I'm not signed in. Oh well, you should probably sign in. Oh. Uh, I can sign in for you if you need. Yeah, if you could do that. I please. remember the password. Um, uh, as long as people don't see it and or hear it. Um, yeah, sure. Give me a sec. It's uh, I think it's that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. No? I, I don't know anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, you're in last pass now, so you should be able to sort it out from there. Hooray. Uh, keep me signed in, please, yes. I'm actually finding this shopping experience really unpleasant. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you can't actually see the deal. I clicked on a deal, you signed in, brought me to the home page. <laughs> You know what? Maybe. Oh yeah, the search box says Prime Day. So like, if I were to do like say RTX twenty seventy, because those are dead. That's, that's actually not a bad idea. Not a great deal. No. Ooh, well, okay. Um, <laughs> this is a pretty good deal though. Departments, electronics. Although I think they were slashed to that to begin with, weren't they? Since uh, the third gen launch. Uh, you gotta you gotta read out just in case people aren't looking at your screen. Are you guys on Anthony's screen? Yeah, the Ryzen 2700X, that got price dropped, didn't it? Or is this a, this doesn't look like a Prime Day deal. No, I think that's just uh, the price of that now. Yeah. Look at honey, it'll tell you about price changes. Oh yeah. yeah sure. Oh boy, um, I, don't, I don't want to sign in right now, but I do want to see this. Is this the best time to buy? Check the price history. Oh cool, okay. So we can find out if they're just lowering prices. Um, Ooh. Okay, so yeah, it was just the price drop. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna have a look at the PC gaming deals here. It seems to be mostly laptops. So if I wanted to pick up a laptop, like a Helios 300 for 900 bucks is probably pretty, wow, that's actually pretty sick. 8750H, GTX 1060, 144 hertz IPS display. 256 gigs, uh, NVMe, 16 gigs DDR4. That's like pretty awesome. Uh, a last gen Blade 15. Um, so this is not the OLED one, 1100 bucks for, well, the tough thing about the Blade is that that's basically the same price as the Helios. Yeah, it's got a nicer shell, but um, it's $200 more. And it's only a 60 hertz display. So the Helios 300 is looking pretty good there. What else we got here? Ballistics Elite, a 16 gig kit for $150. Yeah, it's 3600 megahertz, but I really don't think I'd pay 150 bucks for that. No, there's some 80 um, I'm not sure, it's Spectrix. 80 to Spectrix, that's like 120. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah. Um, 2700X is also in here. It's a, uh, a deal of the day, apparently. So maybe maybe that maybe. was dropped lower? I think it might be like regular price 250 according to what uh, Honey was saying. But I'm not sure. Lots of headsets in here for anywhere from, you know, 10, 20 uh, cloud 2s or 30 bucks off uh, in the red variety. Do you guys need water at all? Um, that would be a terrible Pepsi. idea. Thank you. Oh, I see. Wow, so it's like the MSI sale. So some of these, they're not actually showing you what the price is until you click on them, and then it says Prime Day deal, even like underneath the actual price. So you get a, a certain amount off. So it's even worse of a shopping experience than we initially thought it was. <sighs> this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Cause yeah, even just going through this, um, like this list, it just says Prime Day deal, Prime Day deal. You can't actually see any of the pricing. You have to click through on every single stupid thing. So like, how much is this SD card? Prime Day deal, 20 bucks. You're saving $6. I mean, hey, six bucks is six bucks. 
but also, here, let's have a look at the price history. That doesn't look bad. <laughs> or, hmm. <laughs> How about that price history? Woo! It was just on sale for that price. Twenty-five ninety-nine. Twenty-five ninety-nine. And today, twenty-five ninety-four. Yeah, baby. I like it. This here is legitimately twenty bucks off an H one fifty i Pro. Yeah, but I mean, from our recent experiment, the H one fifty i Pro isn't a good deal even at a hundred and fifty yeah, bucks. Yeah, just get an Octa and um, be done with it. Okay, I think I have to stop looking at the lists of prime deals because it's just kind of overwhelming. So I'm gonna just go CPU and... Okay. So I'm going Intel, right? That's, that's the plan. Gonna build the best, best Intel gaming desktop I can. Let's have a look at 9700K and see if there's any deals here. So this is no. There is no prime day deal. Um, Honey's checking price changes for me here. They might have just dropped in response to AMD, though. We can see if maybe that's a, that's a good deal today. So yes, these are down as of July 11th from around 417 to 365 bucks. So remember your speculation that Intel was doing unofficial price drops through mm -hmm. just uh, kickbacks? It looks like that does appear to hold some water. So 369 is what a CPU here is going to cost you. And oh, you can bundle nice. in this motherboard for 130. You know what? I'm going to go with just the CPU for now. What do you got? This here. So know how it said, like, oh, it's 199 Well, yeah. it's 199 because it's the deal of the day. It's not a prime deal, but it's a deal of the day. And it just happens Thank to you. coincide with prime day. I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a pretty decent. Okay. You know. Are there what are like what's pricing on the third gen stuff? Uh, I'm assuming it's totally untouched. Like... But if you could save even ten bucks on that, I'd be. Yeah. I'd be more excited for third gen. I mean, twenty seven hundred X is a decent processor. Like that's what we're running in our land center, if I recall correctly. People are getting mad at you for not um, searching in, in Prime Day. Prime Day. What? They want me to search in Prime Day deals. Yeah, but I want to build a decent machine. <laughs> Not everything's a prime day deal either. That 2700X is a deal of the day. Yeah, like, okay, Jake, flip over to my screen here. So I just searched for CPU in prime day, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've got our 2700X, which is Amazon's choice. We've got a Threadripper 2950X. That's 130 bucks off or whatever. That looks 170 bucks off. That looks all right if you're into going Threadripper at this point. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but you know, whatever floats your boat. We've got the Bloom Charm MyVal 18 karat gold plated cubic zirconia engagement wedding ring for $17.99. <laughs> Gifts for girls, cheap engagement rings. Wow, that's creepy. Ooh. We've got the Hydro Series H150i. Okay, prime oh, member save. We've got the Bestier Computer CPU Stand Cart CPU Holder with four caster wheels under desk oak. We've got the CPU Holder under desk mount. We've got another Corsair cooler. We've got some thermal paste, some fans, a CPU cooler, a thermal pad. What am I supposed to do? Where are the Prime Day deals on CPUs? There's two freaking CPUs. This is a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you people want from me? <laughs> I mean, this might be an okay deal for a radiator, but it's not a Prime Day deal, unless it is. It doesn't say anything about Prime. Is this even on sale? Like, what is this even doing here? Okay, this is a, prime, is a prime Day, day deal. deal. But it doesn't say anything about that. It's $7 off. It doesn't even say it's a Prime Day deal. It's probably aluminum, too. Yeah, it's probably garbage. Um, apparently on Newegg, there's a better deal on the 2700. Newegg has a better deal on the 2700? Well, you can still use honey. conveniently, Honey works on Newegg, too, so we're under no <laughs> obligation to <laughs> shop. The Fantastech sale. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, you gotta, you got to brand it something, you know? Let's just search for Ryzen and see what comes up. You know what? I am no longer committed to doing all of my shopping on uh, on Amazon here. I'm I'm opening my I'm opening my mind. Uh, Mobo graphics PSU. Here I'm making up a, a quick spreadsheet here. I'm probably missing some things. SSD case. Uh, you can see if there's deals on OS. All right. 2700X. That I think is no. That's a worse deal. Look at the 2700 though. 
Is the 2700 a good deal? Uh, Ooh. 50 bucks less. That's pretty hot. I'd say yeah. a 2700 at 149 is a red hot deal, actually. Yeah. Because, I mean, what are you getting with the 2700X? You get a little bit more, like a couple more, 100 more, couple hundred megahertz more. Yeah. And that's you it. Think, I think, does it come with the same cooler? I believe so. Not that it matters because you should be, yeah. you should be overclocking that chip anyway. Rate so. Spire. Okay. So it doesn't come with the Rate Max. Okay. You know what, though? I mean, I. <sighs> yeah, with the Wraith Max, you can kind of overclock the 2700X about bit. as far as it'll go anyway. Yeah. It's not thermally limited. Yeah. You know what? That's a tough, that's a tough call. I'm going to see if there's any, uh, any Intel CPU deals here. And another tough call is do you get a 2700X for 199 or do you get a 3600 for 199 Oh, 3600 Mm. Depend if you're a gamer, I yeah. want the faster third gen Ryzen cores. The 3600 is definitely going to be faster for a gamer. I mean, for what's sure. you know what? Let's just build a PC together because I'd rather just discuss the one PC that we're actually going to recommend to people to buy rather than try and build two competing builds here. So why don't we base it around a 3600 then? Basically, I'm admitting I can't compete with the 3600 at 199. <laughs> that's it's true. That's what just went down there. I um, mean, Intel can't. You can't either. <laughs> Ouch! So Amazon actually happens to have that chip for exactly the same price. Yep. That's just regular price. So unfortunately, it's not a deal, but maybe we can see how good of a deal we can get on this sort of this computer, on the computer that we're going to build around it. So why don't you buy on Newegg and I'll buy on Amazon? Okay. And then yeah, we can compare our yeah. carts at the end. Okay. All right, so I'm going 3600, 199 from Amazon.com here. Uh, Honey was not able to find me a deal on that, but that makes sense because this is a brand new chip with no, yeah. yeah, no real deals. AMD would be insane to reduce the price on that right now. Now I'm going to bring up ASUS's uh, PCIe Gen 4 uh, compatibility matrix here oh. because I don't know that I'm necessarily interested in spending extra for an X570 board, especially with that active cooling. Yeah. If all I think I really need PCIe Gen 4 for is my storage. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most likely short-term use case for it. So Yeah, and some of them only have enough like leeway on the chipset to do the M.2 X4. Exactly. So if I was to go for something like a, you know what, let's have a look at uh, like a tough X470 Plus gaming. So I'm on Amazon, right? And you're on Newegg? Yep. So you want to do X470? Uh I'm going to see. There might be a motherboard deal. You never know. Especially on X470 yeah, or, you would, or you would think B450 would be. stuff. Yep. That's it? So I searched motherboard in Prime Day, and I've got a Strix Z390E, a Gigabyte X470 board. Pretty decent board, looks like. Yeah, but it's $15 off, unless mm. there's more. Unless there's more off. Another Z390 and a Z370, and then a bunch of random garbage. Like, that's rough. What the heck? Well, let's have a look at this Gigabyte board. Prime Day deal. Oh, 99.99. Oh, that's not that's not bad. Let's uh, let me see if I okay. can find that over here. I'm pretty sure that's a good price. I'm going to check the price history. Aorus Gaming. Is the gaming five? Gaming five, right? Okay, this is apparently a red hot deal because the latest price on this thing was $185. So I'm I'm taking it. I is like that, Is that the gaming five? Uh it's the Aorus Ultra Gaming. Oh, well it's ninety nine over on Newegg. Oh, the exact oh wait. No, no, it's the same price then. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever, that's fine, I'll take it. Add to cart. Let's build the same PC. <laughs> Let's build the same PC. <laughs> Well, I, are there any better deals on Newegg? Because part of the problem on Amazon was that there That's just weren't true. any deals. Let's take a look at what M, uh, Newegg's Fantastic sale has to offer. I'm going to leave a couple of my monitor deals in the cart just in case those end up being all right. Uh, also, there's this Cooler Master $75 uh, dual, dual fan AIO. I'm going to hold on to that for now as well. All right. DDR4. Okay, Prime Day deal search for DDR4. Come on, guys. Why is Prime Video the first thing that comes up? 
Oh, for crying out loud. It's unfortunate that the compatibility matrix on that PCI Express 4.0 is um, specifically ASUS because from what I can tell, ASUS has weaker VRMs on their B450 series motherboards than most other vendors. That's a bummer. Yeah. Um, okay. I've got some Prime Day DDR4 deals. This actually looks not bad. We've got a Vengeance LPX 3600. Uh, this video isn't out yet, guys, but Anthony spent most of last week working on uh, memory speed versus memory latency on Ryzen to determine what is sort of the best uh, balance. And actually, it turns out there are multiple sweet spots. But what we do know is that DDR4 3600 happens to be one of those sweet spots. So I am really liking that Vengeance deal right now, but I'm just going to keep going down and see if there's anything else that really stands out to me. See, I would definitely pay the extra here. So the 3600 is 80 bucks, mm -hmm. and then there's a Vengeance deal for $67 for 3000 3, Would you pay the extra 13 bucks? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the right call. Uh, what do you got from other board deals over there? Not a whole lot, to be honest. Um, most of it's like 20 or 30 bucks off. Um, not seeing the ideal motherboards I'd like to see from ASUS here. Uh, okay. A lot of ASRock and Gigabyte stuff. There is some ASUS, but it's mostly like B450 Plus, which I don't think is on here. Yeah, I think it is. B450 oh, yeah, Plus yeah, Gaming. Okay, no, it is. And that one also happens to have Gen 4 16X support. Hmm, so okay. that's not a bad bet. How much is it? Yeah, 99? 99. It's 20 bucks off. Heck yeah. So interestingly, that memory deal um, is only about 10 bucks off compared to before, according to Honey. But hey, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. Yeah, have a nice lunch. I'll take it. Well, a mediocre lunch. <laughs> mediocre lunch. Subway lunch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's next? I need a power supply. Now, power supplies are one of those, at least traditionally speaking anyway, one of those higher margin categories. Um, with that said, the entrance of EVGA in the market has really taken a lot of the profitability out of the category for a lot of the other brands. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can find a power supply deal here. Are people interested in this, Jake? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Try and open the Intel like, video control panel. I really don't know if I can spare time to dink around with the Intel video card control panel thing. This this brand, Oloy, yeah. they've been showing up a lot lately. And I like, have never heard of that. I know. Is that like someone's offshoot brand? Kind of like Zadax is... Um, who owns Zadax 511? Oh, can you remember, Jake? No. I don't I, really can't I, remember. I looked them a up Vexer? once. They're... Does a Vexer own them? Maybe. Zeta. I looked them up. I thought that Oloy was like their own thing, though. I mean, there's so many like weird freaking brands that I've never heard of before. When I go to a show like Com every year, I go to Computex, I'll see another half a dozen RAM brands that I've never heard of before. Yeah. Because just to be clear, guys, I'm not talking about companies that actually manufacture DRAM modules. Those are few and far between. That's your, your Samsung, your SK Hynix, and the like. There's not a ton of those. But brands that just buy those and then just solder them to modules and go, hey, we made memory, those are a dime a dozen. Looks like I don't have quite a good deal on uh, memory as you do. No? Uh, yeah, there's this 32 gig kit of 3600, but most of it is 3200. That 3200 for 70 bucks is not bad, though. Yep, and I have this Oloy stuff. Oloy. Do you trust it? I mean, RAM is RAM, right? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> it's probably like Hynix chips or something, so it's not likely to play well with Ryzen. With that said, the cheap Corsair is probably Hynix chips. So for me, buying cheap RAM comes more down to am I buying from someone that offers uh, a very comprehensive warranty? Seems and do I expect them to still exist when it comes time to claim that warranty? Mm. So that's where I would go for, if I'm gonna buy cheap RAM, like commodity memory, mm -hmm. I would buy it from someone that I know that I can get a replacement from, if it comes down to that. Looks like it's a lifetime. Uh, Chunwell. Chunwell. 
<laughs> yeah, apparently that's their brand. And, I mean, here's another factor. It might be a lifetime warranty, but where do you need to ship it to? Kowloon, you, apparently. To where? Kowloon, Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I happen to know that Corsair does their warranty out of California. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, could get faster performance today, but if it fails... I'm not trying to be a Corsair fanboy here or anything right now. It's just... Uh, uh, I'm disappointed to see not much G-Skill. Yeah. Like, there's very little here. Well, there's one that sold out, yeah. so... That was probably a good deal. an indication. Like, it probably was a good deal. Yep. Um, this is the big kit. And they've got a bunch of 3200. Although, they're trying to see Royal for $100. The 3200 is interesting. There are not a ton of power supplies in Prime <clears> Day <throat> deals, and some of them are so weird. Like, who these. is looking for this stuff? Like, look at this thing. Here's an 8-port gigabit power over Ethernet injector with a, a separate power supply. It's like, yeah, cool. Well, yeah, heck yeah. But why is that a Prime Day why deal? Why is that a Prime Day deal? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, who, who's asking for this? And there's, like, weird Dell Dimension, like, replacement power supplies. Like, are, are the... Who's thinking like, oh, oh, it's Prime Day. I'm gonna go requisition some extra replacement power supplies for our Optiplex workstations. Like, I, what kind of shoppers are they targeting? I just don't get it. I'm sure that there is a CEO somewhere who is very excited. There are not a lot of very compelling looking power supply deals over on Amazon. I've got a $99 RMX, which is like, yeah, an RMX is a good power supply or whatever, but it's $100. Um, I'm, I'm not looking. Much? Like what? It's a 750 watt. Okay. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's fine, but it's like here, we can, hey, we can use Honey to track the price history of this item. Oh, it's also $10 cheaper. So that helps a little bit, I guess. But I'm willing to bet that this is like, you know, 20 bucks off. Oh. No, okay. This one goes for 130, and it goes as low as around 100 bucks, at least in the last uh, last month. So that's a little more compelling. Than no, wait. Yeah, no, it goes. It's gone down to 100 bucks, so it's like 10 bucks off. So it went up a little bit right before Prime Day, and then it's down to 10 bucks off. So yeah, it's really not that compelling. Now the problem is that Thermal Take has a bit of a, a checkered past when it comes to power supplies. So on the mm. one hand, Thermaltake will contract to very high quality, very reputable OEMs for some of their units, yep. and then they will ship absolute bargain basement garbage for other units. So unless you're paying really close attention and keeping track of which particular Thermaltake power supply you're buying and who exactly the OEM was, it can be a little bit dangerous. Now, this might be an amazing deal. It's 50% off. Or this might be a $22 power supply with a nice coat of paint on it. What's the 80 plus rating? I'm going to have to do a little bit of 80 plus white. Oh, yeah, that's probably not. So this is probably not one of those, you know, fantastic OEM units. But hey, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google it. Speaking of fantastic OEM units, I haven't had any experience with the Corsair Vengeance power supplies. Have you? I haven't, unfortunately. Now, hmm. Corsair, uh, not now they have used OEMs that are not necessarily the most reputable, but to my understanding, they've only had, I think, one or two units that have been like, that's a bad power supply. Um, and I think it's been quite a while. The rating uh, is, well, there aren't very many reviews. I can't even find any reviews of this. Yeah, it's probably a throwaway thermal take. All right. Here's a thread over on Tom's Hardware Forum. Hi, guys. I'm wondering about the thermal take, whatever. Hopefully, there's a reply. Uh, God, I'm using an Apivia, whatever. Something, something. This guy recommends a CXM. Yeah, they're not saying. 
Okay, they say the Smart Series is not particularly good, but they're not naming an OEM here. OEM for the Vengeance series of Corsair units is HEC slash CompuCase. Oh, okay. They use exclusively Japanese capacitors, so yeah, it should be... Yeah, CompuCase isn't, like, terrible. Like, it's not Seasonic, but it's no. uh, it's not... It's not even CWT. Yeah. But I'd go with that. Yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good bet. How much is it? 65 bucks for yeah, 750 that's, that's not bad at all. Okay, I give up on this thermal take unit. I'm not. I'm not getting this thermal take unit. It's a thirty-three dollar power supply with a nice coat of paint. So that means I just need to. I mean, okay, hold on a second. I do have a thermal take tough power grand eight fifty watt for seventy-three dollars. That should be decent. That's probably a better bet. Um, Just so you guys know, we're not actually going to buy these computers, but this is exactly the process that we go through anytime we are purchasing something personally. Yeah. Because the thing is, you can't memorize everything about everything, um, so you do end up needing to look things up sometimes. Yeah, that number one bestseller for cases on Newegg looks pretty decent. Um, I mean, it's not a huge savings. But uh, Corsair Carbide 175R for 55 bucks. What does Honey have to say about it? Tough Power Grand, 850 watt gold. Oh, it looks like it's a Surfer unit. Hmm. That's, That's not, not bad. bad. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Hey, with deal, 73.49. It was actually cheaper in the oh, cart. Wow. I like my power supply deal. I think I did all right. I think you did a little bit better than me, actually. And that does appear to be an actual deal. So yep. this is a really good indicator. And it's one of the things that's really nice about being able to check price history on an item. If the price is actually quite a bit lower than usual, that's an indication that this might be a loss leader, as opposed to just being a cheap item that is has been artificially marked up. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of stoked on my power supply deal now, adding that to cart. Did that work? Yes, added to cart. All right, have you moved on to case now? I am. All right. Let's see what I got. Case, ooh, a bit. Becky Koo case for AirPods. <laughs> 360 degree full protection, dual layer hard, PC soft, TPU anti-slip cover, portable protective shockproof front LED, not visible AirPods case, navy blue, red. Hmm. That's, that's my favorite kind. Sounds like a deal. All right, so I've got a Crystal 570X. Um, got a really ugly iPhone case. Got another AirPods case. Wow, who, who would buy this? Hmm. That looks so stupid. Like, I just, you know, I appreciate it, though, because I would know not to talk to that person. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's great. You know what? Seal of approval right there. So I think I'm going to have to throw computer in as a keyword here because there's a lot of tech cases that are not computer cases, it turns out. All right, laptop tote bag. Anything good over there? The, the steepest discounts are on DIY PC stuff, and I don't know if that's actually their original price. Um, well, you can use Honey. Who, by the way, sponsored this stream. Install Honey. Uh, we've got it linked in the video description. I forget what the vanity URL I'm supposed to be specifically reading for you guys is. Uh, joinhoney.com slash prime day. Linked in the video description still. All right, so I've got an NZXTH 700. The deal is apparently 100% claimed though. So I think this is still sitting in prime day deals, but whatever extra prime day discount there might have been on it is like gone now. Oh, is that how they're doing it? And I don't know if Honey has the degree of granularity that I would need to find a price that was lower earlier today. So it's hard for me to tell exactly what it was. I've got a Carbide 275R, but that's like $90. I'm not necessarily wanting to spend $100 on like a prime day case. Yeah, if I could find a NZXT um, H500, that'd be nice. Got some case fans. There's an H200. 
I've got whatever a SkyTech Blaze 2 is. Oh no, that's a full computer. LED strips. I've got an Ed Hardy Ninja Snake computer case notebook backpack. What? For 19 bucks, that's probably real. <laughs> oh, Amazon. A Nest case for the Raspberry Pi. I'm tempted anyway, but that's nice. not what I'm looking for. We need one of those. You sure heard? We need one of those? What do we need one is of it, those? Is it Pi 4 compatible? I doubt it's Pi 4. Pi 3, 3 plus B. <laughs> Pi 3 and 3 uh, B. Sorry, sorry, there, I, I, can't, I can't spend time diagnosing and fixing that right now. Um, wow, I have like jack all for case deals here. There's the Thermaltake Core G3, which is nothing special. I mean, it looks reasonably well ventilated, but I don't know that I necessarily want one of these unconventional layout type machines if I want nice upgradability and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Also, that's an SFX power supply by the look of things, so um, it's not going to be compatible with my power supply deal. SFX power supplies are more of a specialty form factor. You're less likely to find it like, oh, Prime Day deal! Then again, there was a Prime Day deal on an 8-port PoE injector, so... <laughs> well, <laughs> if it's not selling, it's probably on Prime Day. <laughs> what do you got for a case? You got anything? I've got a lot of like little little cuts here and there. Oh, here's a Ragin Tech that's like really big cut, but like it's still really expensive. Yeah, 150 bucks. Uh, and it's MATX. Not even gonna work with the motherboard I chose anyway. Well, if we have to choose a Prime Day deal, I guess I'm. No, I don't really like this case. I'm not going with a poor, a, a Core P1. Do I just go with the Carbide 275R? Actually, I haven't clicked through to see what the Prime Day deal is yet. 65 bucks. And that's the tempered glass one. Is this one cheaper? Solid panel is just not even a deal. Do people like solid panel more than tempered glass? No, it must just be that that's the one the product manager chose to, to hit today. Yeah, so the, the solid panel one has not been lower than 95 bucks in the last month. Uh, I could try window panel, but not tempered glass. Yeah, it was not a great deal either. Okay, so tempered glass. At 65 bucks, that actually does look like a significant deal here. All right, let's go ahead and check the price history. Yep, that looks good. The lowest we've seen in the last bit. We saw, we saw, did see 65 back on June 30th, but I don't know what happened here because it also jumped up in between the 28th and the 30th. So I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it was out of stock on one vendor and it went to somebody who's like a scalper. Oh, that makes sense. All right, I'm adding that to cart. 65 bucks, I'll take it. Oh, this is neat. <clears throat> Top accessories. I actually like my power supply deal better than this. Uh, I can probably find a better SSD deal than that too. How are you doing for case? I decided on the 175R. It's not a huge deal, but how much it's was it? Fifty four ninety nine. Okay, so I spent ten bucks more. I got a two seventy five R with tempered glass. Is yours tempered glass? Oh no. Okay. Yeah. So, so you got a better deal there. I beat you on the case deal. Yeah. All are, right. Like, if you wanted to go with a DIY PC case, there's plenty of deals on those. Yeah, but there's but, always plenty of deals on those. Yeah. A especially in like bundles and stuff. A lot of the time, you can get your best deals on cases in bundles because case vendors don't like discounting their stuff directly, because even though cases are actually cheap to make. A lot of the cost is in the design, the moldings for them, and the logistics of moving them around and storing them. So yes, they can discount them, but they don't like to set a new precedent for like the price of that product because they also tend to have a longer life cycle. You'll see a case model lie around for a year, two years, three years even in some cases, pun intended. And so they don't want to set these new expected price points only to be like, okay, well this sucks. Now we have to bring in another container of these and like they have to sit there and you don't get that same sales velocity the next time you hit that price. It's just not the way it works. So they like to be careful about discounting. Um, all right, what do you want to do next? I was gonna go with GPUs. Okay, video card. People are asking about the shipping being really expensive. Do you wanna address that? Shipping being expensive. Oh, we're in Canada. 
So the shipping estimates are based on shipping these items out of the United States into Canada, but we're using Amazon.com because most of our viewers are in the US. So you guys, assuming you're buying Prime Day deals, Sorry about the confusion there, guys. Um, all right, so Amazon's Choice Prime Day deal basically proves to me that Amazon doesn't curate their Amazon's choices at all because wow. it's a GT710, <laughs> which is a giant piece of garbage that no one should buy. And I've had this debate with my audience many times and I get people being like, you elitist snob, some people can't afford better. Buy a used graphics card. Don't buy e-waste. A GT710 is e-waste. It's e-waste today, never mind tomorrow. There is nothing wrong with buying used hardware if you can't afford like the fanciest, shiniest new stuff. That's what I did. Yes, you have to actually learn about it, and you have to you know, do your due diligence and all that kind of stuff. You might have to do a, a deal on Craigslist or a Facebook group or whatever, show up literally with your computer tower and be like, hey, can I plug this in, fire up Furmark and make sure it does an artifact before I take it away? I have done that. I've done that on Scrapyard Wars. Never mind the times <laughs> I've just done it personally. There's no shame in that. Be shameless. Get better performance for your money. A GT710 is worthless and you shouldn't buy it. Okay, 10 bucks. 10 bucks if I just need like a secondary display output, 10 bucks. And I get a lot of people telling me that. It's like, oh, well, I just need a secondary display output. Great, then buy something for 10 bucks. Get not, USB one. Not something for 50, well, those are expensive. Oh, okay. Not something for $55 if all you need is a display output, okay? There is no place for high-end basic graphics cards. Don't buy them, they're stupid. Thank you. What else do we have here? I've got a good deal on an RTX 2060 Superclock. It's uh, 309 plus $30 off with promo code. Okay. So that's it's regular 349. Okay. And uh, you could you get two games with it. Wolfenstein Youngblood and Control. Okay. So that seems to be a killer deal. It's no wonder it's the number 1 best seller right now. Yeah. Okay. What else is there in there? Oh wow. Nothing comparable. Not really. So 1660 for 249 if you don't like having more performance for your dollar. <laughs> yeah, because that's 279 <laughs> for the if you're not, GA Super Clock. Yeah, if you're not into that. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you really must prevent RTX from coming into your life. So I've got AMD pulling their Radeon, you know, weird, random, mislabeled cards crap again. I don't know what an RX 580 GTS is. Well, that's XFX's branding. Do they just call it GTS, but it's just an RX 580? Do you know that for a fact? I don't know that. See, me neither. It's so, GTS Triple X too. Yeah, Triple X edition I know is XFX's branding for their overclocked stuff. Yeah. But AMD and Nvidia actually has been dabbling with this and I've given them a hard time about it too, but they have a long history of just creating like weird, actually, you know what? N N Nvidia has a long history of it too. Remember the 7900 GTO? Oh yeah. Yep, so that was basically a GTX, but like, I think it was slightly cut down in some weird way. But they were just trying to get rid of old GTX GPUs without affecting the perceived value of a GTX. That was back before they called everything GTX, just so you guys know. Perceived value is huge in the computer industry. Like, yeah. you ever realize that Apple never has any sales? It's because if they discount something, that diminishes the perceived value of the product. Yep, that was a big part of the reason that Costco uh, wouldn't carry Apple products for the longest time, is Costco wouldn't sell them at regular price and Apple wouldn't give them, wouldn't sell them to Costco if they weren't gonna mark them up more. Um, that's what I heard through the grapevine anyway. Apparently Makes the sense. The GTS XXX is a binned 580. Apparently. Hmm. Okay, what do you think of a binned 580 for, well, let's see what the actual deal is, because, uh, it's not showing the real price on the product page in some cases. Uh, yeah, okay, so it really is 190. That seems not bad, actually. As long as a GTS is not some weird, stupid, slightly fewer functional units, something, something. Like, we'll have to actually verify this. This is what makes it such a chore sometimes to shop for, um, like partner branded cards. 
It also looks like that's not an exceptional deal. There's a 590 here for 199. So, hmm. and that's also XFX, also with a dual fan cooler on it. The 1660 outperforms the 580 and 590, right? Because I've got one of those here for 219. Okay. Plus ten dollars off with uh, with that promo code. Well, so how nice nine. it must be to be Team Newegg today. Wow. Show off. It's almost like they curate their deals. Yeah, instead of putting GT seven tens at the top. You know what? <laughs> I should hamstring I should hamstring my, my Amazon <laughs> computer just to teach them a lesson about actually looking at this crap before telling people it's the best choice. Well, I was just giving Newegg praise for curating their deals, but this is under storage. Oh, really? RAM? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> you know, nothing is really standing out to me here. I've got a 1050 Ti for 189. I've got an RX 570 for 169. This is so stupid. 7750? A 7750 half height card for $150. Vision Tech. You know what? Good job. Good job, Vision Tech. I mean, this one at least has whatever this weird VHDCI interface is, so I guess it can justify itself that way. Wow, I'm really not happy with my with my graphics card deals. Mm, that's QLC. 60. I have a 1650 for 179. Wait, that's not a non-TI though. 1650? Yeah, 1650. Sorry, I got this. Yeah, never mind, never mind. I forgot. It's 1650 and then 1660 Ti. There is no 1660. There is no 1650 Ti. I'm, I'm not sure about that, actually. I was getting confused. Oh, is second. there a 1650 Ti? Uh, no, there's not a 1650 Ti. Is there a regular 1660? I believe there is. is there? Oh, I can never remember. Super chat line? Yeah, uh, yeah sure I'll, I will do some super chats. I won't forget. Uh, 60, oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm, um, man, 1660 Ti 269. What do you think of that one? It's a little high. It's not as good as your deal, that's no, for sure. No, certainly not. Let me see if Prime kicks in anything extra here. Or if Honey does. Um, 269. No, that's it. That's it. That's the deal. That's the deal, and you're going to like it. Yeah, I, I think the lesson here is basically we're not buying a graphics card on, uh, on Prime Day for our Prime Day computer. I'm going to go with this 580. It seems all right. It's not an amazing deal, but nothing here is. So I'm adding it to cart. There you go. All right. Are you moved? You moved on to SSD already, didn't you? I'm looking at SSDs, yeah. OK. Um, not a lot, to be honest. Like there's a couple of large SSDs, but they're from brands that I don't know. Yeah. That's one of those things where there's just, there's no point, you know? Like why? It's your storage. Yeah. Like it's, as I've, as I've gotten older and a little bit less, or a little bit more risk averse, I've come around to the idea of spending more on certain components just for peace of mind, even if objectively that like you know Jinjang tech whatever like ssd uses great quality nand and a good controller theoretically it's fine it's like yeah i need, i want someone to yell at if mm. something goes wrong so i tend towards your samsung your crucial your intel then there's the qc fan disk and yeah qc is a major factor you could have that's a great point you can have great quality componentry on even something like a graphics card even. You'd be like, oh, these are great VRMs. But if they don't actually go through at the end, that's one of the major costs of mass production is going through at the end and actually checking and making sure that all those great quality VRMs are not duds. If they don't actually do that, you could still get a bad unit even with high quality components on a board. Um, 500 gigs for 65 bucks. There's an MX500, it's a decent, SSD, it's fine. Well, I've got a team group um, 512 gig set of three SSD for $38.99. Yeah, team, team group, group is, is probably fine. fine. I mean, 
Personally, I'm kind of tempted to go for a SanDisk Ultra for mm. 60 bucks instead. But you know that's old stock now, right? Um, oh. What about uh, QLC NVMe? Yeah, I got yeah. a couple of those too. I picked up a crucial one terabyte for 110 bucks Canadian. 110 bucks Canadian for QLC NVMe? Yeah, one terabyte. One terabyte? That's not bad. Um, Sabrin also has an NVMe drive, 60 bucks for 512, so that would be QLC. I got 60 bucks for 512 on an Intel 660p. You know what? If this is a historically relatively low price on the 970 Evo, I'm just going to get a Samsung. You wouldn't go with the QLC? You know what? Why? Get double the capacity for the same price? Yeah, but do I really need more than 500 gigs? Like, to me... I personally 500 gigs is sort of, uh, it's one of those magic, yeah, this is not a low price at all. Like how it's, much is your 970? It's been as low as like 75 bucks. Um, my 970 is $90 for 500 gigs. Yeah, I got a two terabyte QLC at drive here for 194. Is that from Intel? Yep, 660p. Okay, that's not a super high performance drive, like at all. No. But it's also a two terabyte M.2. Yeah, so you've got two terabytes of M.2, and it does, it, wait, is it, no, that's cashless, right? Uh, I think the 660p, like it doesn't have an Optane cache, it's not that one. Right. I think that one uses part of its NAND as like an SLC cache. Oh, though. right, yeah. yeah. Or an MLC okay. cache even, maybe. But it doesn't have DRAM cache. I can't imagine Intel shipping. I mean, look, I think that's a DRAM package right there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But it's blacked out. I'm pretty sure that has to be a DRAM package, because there's your controller, mm -hmm. there's your 3D NAND, yep. <laughs> and that that it's the shape of a DRAM package. I could be wrong. I mean, here let me let me Google it for you. 660p uh, DRAM cache. So we talked about this a little while back, um, but basically buying an SSD without a DRAM cache is a super bad idea. It's not going to last as long, and the performance is going to suck. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep, 660p does have a 256 meg DDR3 cache. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't feel too bad about that, to be honest. Honestly, that looks like a pretty good deal to me. I don't really have anything here that stands out, to be honest with you. What about a hard drive? Um, I'm sure they'll, they're I trying to get I don't think you need drives. a hard drive. Well, not a two, two, not a two terabyte. You've got a two terabyte. Now. Yeah, you've got a two terabyte M.2. You won the game. But... If you can get a bigger hard drive for less. Oh, my prime my prime day search disappeared. Uh, M.2. All right, let's see if there let's see if anything shows up here. So I've got a WD Black one terabyte for 174. Mm. Like I don't think I'm doing that. I think if I'm spending that kind of money, I'm just going to go for a 970 Evo because honestly, it doesn't perform in a normal consumer workload that differently. 125 for Corsair a... Force MP510. That's like a pretty last gen M.2 at this point. Yeah, but does that matter? I guess not. Because like the MP510 isn't that old. Yeah, it's just also not that great of a deal. Like I am paying a good 20, 25% more per gig than you are for a 660p. That is probably a faster drive than a 660p oh, yeah. though. You know what? That's not a bad deal. I can get yeah, behind that Yeah, it's a trade off that, that you'd had to make, but like, Okay. Whether you make that call depends on how much you have to store and how much you really care about the reaction time. I've still got a one terabyte class drive and it's 119 in the cart. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that. What else are we missing? Um, I feel like now's a good time to go check out our carts actually. Yeah, probably. Not literally check them out, just look well, at them. Really? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> good try. Keyboard and mice? Um, yeah, keyboard and mouse is so subjective, it's hard to... I mean, I can have a look at what there is on promo. I don't think I'm going to bother with monitor. I, uh, should we? I don't know. Okay, so we've got CPU. We both decided on um, Ryzen uh, 3600s. Was that it? Yep. I think the 3600 is such a fantastic value right now. Yeah, there's nothing that touches it. All right. So I ended up with a Gigabyte X470 board, 
Mm. I never actually validated that that was going to work with PCIe Gen 4, but I also ended up with a PCIe Gen 3 SSD anyway. So, all right. Uh, I ended up with a 275R case. You've got a 175R. Yeah. I like oh, my case. Oh, it is tempered glass. Is it tempered glass? Yeah, apparently. Oh, in that case, I actually don't mind your deal at all. Well, I'm only 10 bucks more. I guess I... And got a is that, that's counting a mail-in rebate. No, no, that's plus a uh, mail-in rebate. You also have a mail-in rebate? Yeah. Are you sure? Pretty because sure. Because that happens to be exactly $15. Says, I think Newegg advertises after MIR pricing. Do they? I think so. Yeah, I think my deal is actually better than yours. Oh, no. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. All right. Oh, you won the case. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's RGB. I think I won the power supply. Do I get to win the power supply? Maybe. I mean, the Corsair Vengeance isn't as good a power supply as that is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and I only paid another, like, $8. Yeah. But then you also have a $10 rebate card, so you're only paying 55 bucks. Dang it. <laughs> but you also have to fill in MIRs. Yeah. How much is your time worth, Anthony? And then I get these little, like, prepaid Visa cards or whatever. Like, ugh. Oh, boy. All right. Motherboard, I think we're both pretty close on motherboard. Yeah, I want the B450 Plus. Yep. I'm getting technically a better chipset, but I don't know that it actually matters. What features does the X Series chipset have that anyone cares about? Lean bifurcation? Does sure. anybody care about that? I, someone, but like most people, I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, did I win the RAM deal? Uh, 80 bucks for 3,600, 16 gig? You sure did. Okay. I've got 3,200, although mine's RGB. And what's your, uh, what's your latencies? Uh, I did not look. Mine's a C18 kit, so it's not a particularly low latency kit. This is a C16 kit. Okay, I think. <laughs> so I might win here. Dang it. <laughs> uh, can we find something that I won at? Okay, <laughs> I have a Cooler Master Master Liquid for 75 bucks. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I actually did. Dual get a fan, cooler. RGB, water cooling. I didn't get a cooler. Okay, so, so then I win by the, default. With the Wraith, yeah. I mean, I can go back and get a cooler. Yeah, I'm going to see if there's anything better, too, while I'm at it. Whoa, there's a cheaper one. There's a $47 dual fan one. I think I like that. $240? Add to cart. Yeah, 47 buckaroonies. As long as it has, yeah, it's got AMD compatibility. Yeah, I like that one. That deal is 61% claimed. Let's see what we've got for water cooling here. Uh, if you dunk on my water cooling deal again, I'm going to be super upset. <laughs> That's the only threat I have. There's nothing else I can do to you. What was that? That was the LL240, right? Uh, let me have a look here. And how much was it? Um, so it's an LC240E. LC240E. Yeah. And how much? Uh, 47 bucks, I think. Let me double check. Okay. Yeah, 47 bucks. Did I'm I win? I'm not sure if this is better. Yeah, ML240L. That's a higher grade unit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mine's a super basic one. Well, I don't know if super basic really is beaten by better in this case because it's just, is it just that it's RGB fans and stuff or does it have... Mine has fans? RGB fans too. And oh. mine also just has a really basic looking uh, cold plate and stuff. So I, okay. I, doubt there's, I doubt it's amazing. You know what's really stupid though? Um... Like an Octua NHU-12S is like 58 bucks. And then I could have an Octua cooler. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me see what Noctua goes for here. Probably the same. I think Noctua is pretty strict about enforcing uh, not trashing their pricing. If I recall correctly. Not that I, you know, I I've recall been in the game for a long time. Deals every now and again. Oh, every now and again. I also remember it being just basically really stupid to trash your Noctua margin because the margin was really good because they don't like people slashing pricing and uh, it doesn't really sell that much more because people who know Noctua, they buy Noctua and people who don't know Noctua, they go buy something else, so. Yeah, there is nothing on here. You don't really do yourselves any favors. Does Newegg not carry Noctua? No, no, in, this, uh, in the sale. Oh, in the sale. I mean, that Deepcool one for 50 bucks is probably decent. Yeah, I'm wondering about its mounting mechanism though. It's like that scissor thing that Cooler Master does. Yeah. I would pay extra to avoid that mount. Yeah, that's fair. Um, all right, so I think I won Cooler? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> what something? Uh, do we want to have a look at some monitors? We'll do that. 
All right. Let me just quickly add that. Uh... Actually, I'm going to have a look at Super Chat and see if anyone is shrieking at us about um, like a, a thing that we outright missed. We've got case, power supply, motherboard, cooler, CPU, RAM, RAM graphics card. SSD. SSD. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. We didn't get an OS, but um, <clears throat> those are rarely on promo anyway, so I'm not too concerned yeah, about it. Yeah, probably not. Let me see if I can even find. So this is so great. YouTube just dumps me, and don't uh, show my screen right now if you don't mind. Something is harder to use. YouTube just dumps me in the new Creator Studio, which is great, except it doesn't have features like, oh, I don't know, the live streaming dashboard so that I can actually see Super Chat. So it's just, it's by default now. And the, the classic dashboard actually contains ads when you navigate between pages that Wait, tell you to try out the new Creator oh. Studio. It's so obnoxious. Hey, did you know we got a new Creator Studio? <laughs> yeah, I did. I was specifically avoiding it. Uh, Raymond says, Merry Prime Day, one and all. I got myself an eight terabyte external hard drive for 100 pounds. Uh, that sounds heavy. Must have cost them a lot to ship that to you. Hey, it's a joke because you're from the UK. Uh, Crazy Wee Monkey says, Amazon workers are striking today. Don't be a scab. Um, well, I'm not working in the warehouse. So I think it would be hard for me to be a scab today. Yeah, I saw that. It's like, oh yeah, don't be a scab. Don't buy from it. It's like, that's not how that works. Um, Dylan says, Linus can't compete with Anthony on building a PC. Well, we ended up building it together, so I didn't have to. <laughs> uh, Chromo says, take my free super chat. Ashton says, Linus, do the thing. Hmm? James, I want to save $2. Sent us $2. Uh, Tim Tam says, Wish.com has better deals. <laughs> uh, we are actually working on a Wish PC. Your wish is my command. Uh, Dennis says, Ginny Tech dropped a huge IT bomb on Red SSD. Okay, all right. You know what? Fine. Let's address this thing because everyone in their freaking... Do I'm convinced it's bots at this point because everyone in their dog is sending me this thing about the Red SSDs just being stupid, cheap MSATA SSDs. Doi, you think? They've been open before, I don't get it. Like, what is the news here? Yes, I believe it is maybe a new revelation that they are misrepresenting the capacity of the MSATA SSDs. Um, with that said, that's also nothing new. Going back to the early days of computer SSDs, things were often advertised as 500 gig class. Um, so is it, um, is it misleading? Absolutely. Am I a huge fan of paying way too much for cheap MSATA SSDs? No. I, have I already made a video about that? Yes. Um, what does Ginny.tech have to gain through all of this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that they sell knockoff red mags. So maybe that's where a lot of this publicity around this is coming from because this is not new information. Um, so yes, yes, this is, yeah, that, that's a thing. Red mags are a ripoff. Yeah, so is any proprietary memory. Like, should, should we do an expose on Memory Stick Pro Duo? Like, a, <laughs> should we tear apart a Memory Stick Pro Duo and have a look at the NAND on it? And be like, this is just cheap NAND in a proprietary enclosure. I don't know what you guys want from me. <laughs> like, everyone and their dog is asking me to make a video about this. Like, I, I already made a video about this. You know, what the, you know what the dumbest thing about, about the Red ecosystem is? The fact that you pay for this expensive, fancy media that isn't anything special and has no special redundancy built into it or no special resiliency against anything, and they don't even support dual recording. How do they not support dual recording? It's stupid. That's the safest, like, how do you shoot a Hollywood film on a single point of failure? Especially with the number of them that we've had die. So yeah, do I hate red mags and think that they're stupid? Yes, it's just that that's not news. It just is. Um, Jesus Franco says, I was given another free super chat. Here you go. Thanks, Jesus. Uh, gun edits. Currently I have a 1600X. Should I get the 2700X or hold out for the yes, you should hold out. You've got an Asus X470 motherboard? Yes, you should hold out. Oh, you got an RTX 2070? You should hold out. The answer, oh, the answer is you should hold out. Um, I, would, I would definitely save my pretty pennies and grab a 3600. 
because the gaming performance difference between a 3600 and a second gen is quite significant, especially if you have a powerful graphic card like you do. Uh, Marcel, in Germany, the Ryzen 7 2700 goes for 216 euros. Thank you, that is fantastic information, Marcel. Appreciate that. Um, Brandon says, Linus, you're the best. Scott, when are you guys going to do a 3000 series AMD series uh, X370 MOBO video lull? Um, I think we're going to talk about using third gen on older motherboards at some point mm -hmm. in the next little bit. Anthony's got that on his list. It hasn't happened just yet. But, it's a much to do list, yes. Yeah. Anthony has a bit of a to do list, if you catch my drift. I'm booked out for the next several months. Um, all right, what do you got for monitor deals? Why don't we get back to some deals here? Uh, mostly just Scepter stuff. There's those. Oh boy. Uh, did we like the Mosabi Mango? That was right. Yeah, it's down here too. How much somewhere. is it? That's like uh, two ninety nine. Mm, is that a deal? I can't remember how much it cost. I thought it was three ninety nine. So they yeah, that say sounds pretty good. So that one was fourteen forty p. Wait. It. Oh, do they have more than one Wasabi Mango? Oh, that's the big one, right? This one. Seventy five like hertz. Fourteen forty. I thought it was a different wasabi mango. Do they have more than one wasabi mango? I don't know. Yeah, this is a 32 inch. IPS, 75 hertz, 10 bit color. No, ours was a 4K 120 hertz. That's a oh. completely different display. Interesting. So that's not the one we reviewed. Interesting. I guess if I was them, I would probably do the same thing, cash in on the, the recognizability of my very unique product name that was well reviewed. What yep. else you got? I don't know what if this is a deal or not. The G-Sync monitor, 27 inch, 165, 550, 5, 550 bucks. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Curved. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it needs to be curved if it's not an ultra wide, to be honest. Um Hey, here's the why is everybody buying this monitor monitor? And it's only a hundred bucks. Hey. That's why everybody's buying this monitor. Yeah. Monitor. That is usually the answer for that series. <laughs> <laughs> um is this all, is this Prime? This is Prime Day monitors, they're all cheap. Nothing kind of gaming grade yet. Got a curved FreeSync monitor here. If you're okay with 60 hertz, here's a two millisecond TN panel for 130 bucks. Personally, I wouldn't spend that kind of money on TN at this point. I mean, I've got some no-name stuff here, like this Prism, which is 165 hertz, um, FreeSync, uh, flicker-free, low blue light, all that kind of stuff. <sighs> There's a couple it's problems a with that, panel, though. though. Like here, oh, TN. Yeah. I wouldn't spend 260 bucks on a TN panel today. And the issue too is a lot of the time these no-names, they'll be advertised with really high refresh rates, but the pixel response times aren't good enough to keep up. So it just ends up being really smeary. Um, it's not a great experience. It's not, like honestly, I think I'd rather have like a 75 hertz, but with good pixel response time. So at least the image is sharp. I mean, here's a 34 inch, um, Ultra wide, oh, it's a 1080 ultra wide. 144 hertz though for 380 bucks. I've got a 390 bucks, uh, I think it's a 1440p ultra wide. Nope, oh it is, yeah. oh it's a, what? Well that just slayed my deal. <laughs> that that just smokes It's got free sync too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rub it in some more. <laughs> um, Acer gaming monitor, 200 bucks. free sync 4K, yeah. I'm not into the 4K gaming monitors. I would have preferred to have a higher refresh rate though. Wow, I really have nothing special monitor wise. Like I could go with a VG. Again, this is TN, but it's at least 144 Hertz for 180 bucks. I could be talked into something like that, but. Yeah, there's nothing super special here. You know what, if I have to choose something from Prime Day, I guess I'm, I guess that's probably the best gaming experience that I could buy here. Oh, what's this? Samsung 27 inch FHD. Full HD. It's probably not TN though. I don't know if Samsung still ships TN. It's probably VA? their VA. I'd be a lot more comfortable with that. But it's also one millisecond, so I don't know. See, I wish that we, oh, here we go. Okay, technical specification. You have to literally download a PDF. Thanks, Amazon TN panel. Yuck. Yeah, I'm not spending that kind of money on a TN panel. It just doesn't make sense. 180 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what else we got here? Like, what is this? Here's some Acer thing. 
Four millisecond response time. This is probably not TN, but it's also probably 60 hertz. You know what? I don't even care. I'm taking the 60 hertz and I'm hoping I can overclock it to like 70, 75. I just can't even, I can't even spend that kind of money on a TN. It depends what kind of gaming you do though. Like if you're more of a Twitch gamer, and I don't mean twitch.tv, I mean like, like Twitch response times. Like if you're more of an FPS gamer and you only have a couple hundred bucks to spend, I think you have to go with the high refresh rate TN. But if you're more of a sightseeing gamer, which is me, then yeah, this is 60 Hertz, 1440p, but it's only 20 bucks more and it's IPS, it's higher res. I think I like this one better. I'm, I'm going with this. Okay. Do you want to, how much is that one? 200 bucks. Hmm. Do you have something that slays me? No, just this. Oh, you just went with the more expensive. The, yeah, yours is a nicer monitor, but you also clearly are investing more in your monitor experience than I am. I'm going with a more yeah, and it's got budget a oriented. Good gamut coverage, 99%, 99.5% yeah. sRGB. I also have a lower end graphics card, so mm -hmm. I can't even drive that. Yeah, what did you go with again? The 580? Yep. Oh, keyboards. We're gonna go the whole way. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna bother with the keyboard deals. Keyboards are so personal. It's gonna come down to what you guys are into. And most of this is kind of off-brand stuff that I frankly don't have much experience with. I mean, the G910 Orion Spark is $80 off apparently, but we can use Honey to see if that's actually legit. Save an extra 258 when you apply this coupon. Thank you, Honey. You have paid for yourself already. <laughs> More than, because we paid nothing. Yeah, what? That, that's infinitely. This is the best deal of all Amazon sellers. Okay, and he didn't detect any price changes in the last 30 days. So there you go, we can save two, 250. You know what? Done. Done. I'm going for it. It's RGB. Hate, all, hate it all you want, Jake, but it's RGB. The G910 Orion? How much was it? Uh, 90 bucks uh, on the Prime Day deal. This, oh, this is G610, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't have a deal here. No deal? Nope. The death adder elite is $34.99. At that price, you could literally afford to buy another one when your first one dies. It is a question of when. Ooh, G602. Now, to be clear, this is not using Logitech's light speed, but at 25 bucks, and it's heavy, but at 25 bucks, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like I'd use that for like RTS gaming for general usage. Like for, for first person shooter stuff, probably I would like to have the light speed. Then again, you could just get a G403. And then if you really wanted it to be wireless, you could do our battery mod that people hated. Yeah. Oh, is that the 305? Sorry? 305. It's the 305. Oh shoot, never mind. Ah, oh, crap. That's still a really good deal. You know what? Uh, do I want wireless or do I want a better sensor? Yeah, let's go with the G403 Prodigy. This one has Hero Sensor, right? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's it has the um, the one that everyone else ended up using, the Avago whatever, right? Yeah. But with Logitech Ooh. firmware, I'll, I'll take it. Drivers, okay. Sensor Logitech sold, sold, done. Done. Refurb K70 RGB sounds good to me. All right, I'm done. Oh really? Yeah, 69 bucks. Cherry MX Browns. Yeah, I like that this deal. This is my keyboard. I actually have this keyboard. It's great. Me too. That's still the one I use at home. Yep. Sold. 70 bucks is a good deal for that. Yeah, even if it's refurb, it doesn't matter. I mean, 50 million keystrokes or whatever. Like, how how refurbed could it be? Like, yeah. How how worn out? I guess is what I'm like, trying to it say. It was probably sent back because like an LED went out or something, and they they replaced them. All right. So what's your total cart here? Well, I haven't gotten a mouse yet. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm adding mine up. I'm at about $1,000 for a 1440p monitor, really nice keyboard and mouse, water cooling, uh, Ryzen third gen. Wait, why is this saved for later? Oh, it's no longer available from the seller oh, you selected. Oh, no. Get wrecked. Okay, so I have to add uh, 300 to my price, so I'm at $1,300 because uh, this does say 1086 but there's like 25 bucks here. Uh, looks like 25 bucks there, like five bucks there. So we're, we're rounding, rounding 15 there. So we're saying 1,000. So 1,300. 
and I get a 1440p IPS monitor, really nice keyboard and mouse combo, water cooling, one terabytes of NVMe storage, an RX 580, not that happy with that. Um, I wish I had a better graphics card deal. I got a 275R with tempered glass, um, really solid 850 watt power supply. I got nice high speed memory for my Ryzen processor and an X470 board. I'm actually pretty happy with my, with my gaming experience for $1,300 today. I didn't, I don't know if I saved that much though. Like that's the issue with these kinds of, you know, prime day things. Whereas if you just yeah. use a shopping companion in general, a lot of the time you'll just see random deals and you'll be able to pick up similar deals if you just kind of have an ear to the ground. Yeah, and a lot of the time you can actually get price matches at a lot of vendors too. Yeah. So there's that too. There's a lot of Razer stuff and not a whole lot else. Um, it's not a bad deal for the Steel Series Sensei Raw. G400S is not bad. Mm. If you're into that mouse shape. Yeah. It's optical though, not a laser. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, popular misconception. Um, well, yes, but also typically optical sensors are Are you having fun? I'm just fidgeting. Okay. Acer Predator Cestus. Yeah. Bloody, oh, I got one of these upstairs. G400 Black Wired. Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the sales. Yeah. Not much here. I'd probably go for the Steel Series, to be honest. Get a Sensei Raw? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with that. Yeah. I mean, I can a little bit. I'd probably go with the G400 or the G400S. G400S is a better deal, objectively, but... If the mouse shape doesn't work for you, I mean, mice are very personal. I used to actually like that mouse shape, but I'm actually growing attached to this. All right, go for it. I've got a G900 at home. So why don't you walk us through your uh, through your cart then? Okay, let's take a look. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> So it looks like my total is 1636. Right, so you paid $300 more, but 200 of it was in the monitor. Yeah. You got a way better monitor. Way better monitor. Uh, let's see, the case, eh, it's whatever. I got a better case. I got a better deal, but yeah. Yes, you got a better deal. <laughs> Motherboard, again, it's eh, Probably kinda, pretty close. Kind of the same. Way better graphics way card. Way better graphics card. Like the graphics card deal here is actually really good. Yeah. Um, power supply, meh. Good deal. Yeah, good deal. Especially with the mail-in rebate. But that assumes that I want to do a mail-in rebate. Your mileage may vary. So, uh, RAM, probably a wash to be honest. Yeah. The extra frequency probably is uh, outclassed or matched, sorry. But if it's going to be a wash, you've got RGB and I don't. Right. So I've got extra FPS just from that. Same processor, same price. Yep. I mean, it's it's brand new. It's They're not, not a deal, but we both decided that like for two hundred bucks, you should we should just get that processor. Yeah, for, even over the twenty seven hundred X, there's yep. um, there's very little reason to go with the twenty seven hundred X over the thirty six hundred. Two fewer cores, but like these are better cores, guys. Yeah, a lot better. And I mean, we tend to lean towards building gaming machines because that's like that's what we know. Um, you've got two of those. Oh. There's your problem. Well, we can drop 120 bucks off of that. Wow, okay, so your deal is now a lot better because so basically... let's see. 1576. Yeah, and most of that is in your monitor. So yeah, got one of these. You've got a two terabyte SSD to yep. my one terabyte SSD. That's the other bit of the... But with QLC. Yeah. But it's Intel and they take their storage reliability pretty darn seriously. Yep. Pretty happy with this refurbished Corsair keyboard. I like that deal too. I actually really love this keyboard. I like that deal better than mine. Cherry MX Browns are still my favorites. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, even if, like, what's a refurbished keyboard gonna have as far as a failure, a point of failure compared to a regular keyboard? It could have like disease gunk in between the keys. Yeah, but they probably sterilize it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if I would go with a refurbished headset though. Yeah. Um, Steel Series Sensei Raw, eh, it's That's whatever. Fine. I don't really mind. Okay. And then there's the yeah, the monitor, which is an ultra wide 1440p. 
Yeah, why don't you brag about it some more? Yeah, it's got free sync. Yeah, yeah, okay. 99.5% yeah, I was being facetious. <laughs> it's got DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. USB 3.0 hub. It's got swivel. All it's right, got all right. Adjustment. It's all right. It's vase mountable. Yeah, but how much does that vase mount add-on cost? Is it $300? Oh, it's not. It's it's $1,000. $1,000, yeah, yeah. I bet. So that was it. That was our Prime Day deal. We ended up getting better deals on Newegg, but whatever, Honey doesn't care because Honey allows you to get the best deals all over the web, be it at you know Best Buy, uh, Amazon, Newegg, wherever it is that you want to shop. Um, there you go. It says it takes, how long did it take you to install? Uh, like 15 seconds. 15 seconds. It's free forever because Honey gets their kickbacks from the sites that you shop with, so you never have to pay for it. And uh, a ton of people on staff here have saved a whack ton of money with Honey. Basically, it just finds the best deal on the sites you're shopping at and makes sure that it's automatically applied to your cart. So join honey.com slash prime days where you go to get Honey today. And I don't really know of anywhere that you can go to kind of browse mine and Anthony's curated deals or whatever, but we, we, we did just go a... through them. So that's fine. Yeah. I, I think it's fine. Yeah. All right. So thanks, guys. Um, if you dislike this video, do I do like a standard outro? Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to, you know, well. Okay, bye. <laughs>